We gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we remember Archbishop Emeritus Michael James O'Doherty, the 27th Archbishop of Manila, on the 75th anniversary of his death. Let us continue praying for the eternal rest of his soul. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us acknowledge our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Send down, we pray, O Lord, the lasting dew of your mercy on your servant Michael, whose anniversary we commemorate, and be pleased to grant him the company of your saints. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other one by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn through a promise. Now this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren one who bore no children. Break forth and shout, you who are not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the preborn woman. For freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord, our God, who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Please stand.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While still more people gathered in the crowd, Jesus said to them, This generation is an evil generation. It seeks a sign, but no sign will be given it except the sign of Jonah. Just as Jonah became a sign to the Ninevites, so will the Son of Man be to this generation. At the judgment, the Queen of the South will rise with the men of this generation, and she will condemn them, because she came from the ends of the earth to hear the wisdom of Solomon, and there is something greater than Solomon here. At the judgment, the men of Nineveh will arise with this generation and condemn it, because at the preaching of Jonah, they repented. And there is something greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> I consider myself a photographer, but I do not consider myself as the best. There are better photographers than me. Like, for example, here at the Manila Cathedral during special events, we have good photographers or even better photographers like P.D. Uh, Jodel, Eric Earl, and Maricar, they take good pictures. So, how does one define a good photographer? A good photographer is someone who has an eye, eye for photography. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Malalaman nyo naman ho talaga yun eh, no? I don't know if there is a way of knowing it, pero pag nakita mo yung kuha niya ng picture niya, sasabihin mo, you have an eye for photography. Well, maybe a good photographer is someone who sees something special in the ordinary. Yan. Something beautiful in what is considered to be boring. Kumisan, Yung sigurong walang alam sa photography, sabi niya, ay, wala namang maganda makukuha dito eh. Pero ang isang mahusay na photographer, even in the barest of places, he or she can see something beautiful. There is an eye for photography. And I think that is what is missing in the people during the time of Jesus. They don't have, or they didn't have, an eye for photography. They don't see the beauty that is in their midst. At yun ang gustong sabihin ni Jesus. Sabi niya, sa araw ng paghuhukom, ang reyna ng the queen of the south will rise with the men of this generation and she will condemn them. Why? Because she saw something special in Solomon. But they, the people of Je uh, and Jesus and Jesus' type, did not see something special in Jesus. Sayang. I think that is one of the uh, car uh, attributes of Archbishop Michael O'Doherty. He was a visionary leader. He sees, he looks at the situation, and he sees what is needed to be done. He became Archbishop in, 20, uh, in 19, 1916. He served the longest Archbishop for 33 years. He died on October 14, uh, 1949 at the age of 75. When he came to Manila, coming from the Archdiocese of Zamboanga, he looked at Manila, and this is what he saw. 
the, the need for Catholic schools. Kasi nga, dumating yung mga Protestants with the coming of the Americans. So, yung mga Protestants, nagtuturo ng mga Protestant teachings. So, nakita ni Michael Doherty, there is a need for more Catholic schools. He saw also the need for a Catholic press. Yung jaryo na katoliko. He also saw the need for flourishing seminaries. Kasi nga, marami ang mga pari ng mga Espanyol after ng revolusyon ay umuwi ng Espanya. Kaya maraming mga ba- ba- uh, simbahan o parokya na naging bakante at kaya yung mga aglipayan priests ang nag-take over. Kaya sabi niya, hindi pwede to. Kailangan mag-form tayo ng maraming seminarista na magpapari. He saw the need for the frequent reception of the sacraments, the sanctification of Sunday, and the absolute need for the laity, the lay people like you. Sabi niya, the lay people, they are part of the church. Kasi siguro kahit ngayon, ano, meron ganong mentalidad. No? Pag sinabi mong simbahan, pag sinabi mong church, ah, pari yan, pari. Kaya they criticize the church, forgetting that they belong to the church. You belong to the church. Ang simbahan ay hindi lang ang mga pari. Ang simbahan ay mga laikong katulad niyo. At nakita yon ni Archbishop Michael O. Doherty. And because of that, he planned his pastoral mis- his pastoral planning was done along that line he was one who saw who saw and then siya yung archbishop nung panahon ng gera nung hapon panahon ng hapon nakita niya ang pagkasira ng intramuros kahit ang katedral nasira nung 1945 because he died in 1949. After the war, ang una niyang ginawa ay tignan ano ang kalagayan ng mga tao. Alam niyang gutom ang mga tao. Walang mga bahay, walang matirhan, walang mainom, magulo. Yun ang kanyang unang binigyan ng pansin. He saw the need of the body of the people. Hindi niya sinabing, oh, nasira yung simbahan ng katedral. Yung katedral, ipatayo natin ang katedral. Hindi. Ang inunan niya ay ang pangangailangan ng katawan ng tao. Bagamat hindi niya kinalimutan ang pangangailangan spiritual. Archbishop Michael O. Doherty was a visionary leader. He saw. He had an eye for photography, so to say. Today, we remember him. Many of us do not know him. Para siya yung lolo natin na namatay bago tayo ipinanganak. Ikinukwento lang ng mga nanay at tatay natin. Ah, yung lolo mo, ganito yan, ganyan. That is why there is an exhibit of his life and legacy. Let us pray for him as we thank the Lord for the gift of His person. He was a visionary. And let us pray that there will be more visionary, visionary leaders in the church. Mga pinuno na makikita ang maganda kahit sa mga pangit na sitwasyon at makikita kung ano ang kailangan ng bayan, ng simbahan. Amen. Please stand. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and to respond firmly to Christ's call for repentance. To every petition, our response would be, God of signs and wonders, bless us. 
God of signs and wonders, bless us. That the hearts of all men and women may be converted to the Lord who calls the world to repentance. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of signs, signs and, wonders, and wonders, bless us. That we may accept the full message of the gospel, including those sayings that speak of trouble and the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. God, Lord, of, God signs of signs and, signs and wonders, wonders, bless us. That like the citizens of Nineveh, we may renounce our evil ways and turn to God with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of signs, signs and, and wonders, wonders bless, bless us. That the sick and the elderly may find security and love from those who care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of signs, signs and wonders, wonders bless, bless us. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. God, God of, of signs, signs and wonders, wonders bless, bless us. Father of all, you gave us the sign of Jonah to foreshadow the coming of your son. As from all eternity, you willed his resurrection. Associate us with him forever. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. <coughs> Through goodness we have this bread to offer. <coughs> this earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be attentive, O Lord, to our prayers for your servant Michael, whose anniversary we observe today. And through this sacrifice of conciliation and praise, Graciously add him to the company of your saints, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Michael, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. Just as you have lovingly accepted, O Lord, our prayers and sacrificial offerings for the soul of your servant Michael, so we humbly entreat you, if any stain of sin has clung to him, may it be wiped away by your merciful forgiveness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. After the Mass, we will go down, or those who wish, we will go down to the crypt to bless the tomb of Archbishop Michael O'Doherty. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.